Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this video. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use the Azure Digital Twin uh, Explorer to maintain some, some digital twins in the Azure Digital Twin service. So first things, and according to the information in the post, uh, uh, you need is to create an Azure Digital Twin instance. So let, let's navigate to the Azure portal. So I already created one. So basically, what you would need is just uh, the host name of the service instance and um, we'll also please verify that you registered uh, the app you perform the app registration in the azure active directory as also explained in the link posted in in, in the blog entry so let's go to the app registrations This is the app registration I already created. So from this app registration, basically we need the application client ID and the directory tenant ID as shown here. And then if you go back again to the Azure Digital Twin service instance, please verify also in the access control that this register application in the role assignment sec section This one here has this correspondent permission also over the service and has the role. But you have here two possibilities. You have the Azure Digital Twin owner or the Azure Digital Twin reader. For this case, we use the Azure Digital Twin owner. So once we have that configured, then let's get started. I hope you already download the sources of the Azure Digital Twin Explorer from, from Git. Uh, I also make the link available in, in the blog entry. So let's go to the Digital Twin Explorer project to the client folder and then npm and run start. It takes uh, a couple of minutes since the until the application is started. So just, just wait a bit. And, and once the application is, is already running, you just go to the, your favorite uh, navigator and go to the local host and it's in the port 3000. And the first things we need to do is to sign in and using the client ID and credentials and um, well, plan ID, tenant ID and the ADT URL as I explained uh, a couple of minutes. And then just connect after you populate those fields. Um, okay, my account is already uh, stored here, so I don't have to um, click on my subscription and so on. But if, if it's uh, necessary, please just do it accordingly. So now we are already logged into the digital tool service. It's uh, completely empty. So as explained in the post, I prepare some uh, data models. Basically, um, I define a thing as the uh, top element in, in the in the model, and three other objects. So the agri parcel, the agri soil, and the agri product type. So as you can see, uh, all of these three objects uh, inherit from from thin so this is a really nice thing about this uh, digital twin definition language the, the inheritance and then i would like that every single object in the model has the property name and a created at property so with inheritance i can achieve that and then well i define all of the Twin models or interfaces in, in a single JSON file. Uh, let's see uh, if I need to upload individual interfaces or I can just upload the whole models in the ADT Explorer. Let, let's try this out. So go here, upload a model. Okay. 
Okay, it it's, seems like uh, you don't like it, so let's just quickly separate it in three or four individual models. So let's make here one. Okay, so just try it again with individual models, an array of models, or individual twins. And let's start with a thin. Great, the thin is here. We can verify it here. The, the model we already uploaded. And then let's continue with the other one, hoping that there's no error. So let's continue with the agri-parcel. Great. The next is the agri-soil. And finally, the agri-product type. Okay, perfect. Now the four uh, twins are um, already uploaded into the digital twin service instance. So the next thing we can do is just to create some instances. So let's start it with the, well, since a thing is a generalization, uh, we shouldn't instantiate anything. From that, so let's start it with uh, a parcel. Let's suppose. We... So first, let's create a parcel, and we name it uh, my parcel. So click on that. That on the right side, you can see the model which belongs to, and you can also enter some other inf information like the area. Let's say we have three thousand square meters. And for the category, let's put uh, grassland. Um, for the name, sorry, my parcel. Okay, now let's create some agri soil. Here, let's put just, um, yes, my soil one. Oh, okay. There are some restrictions on the uh, twin ID, so let's consider that and do it again. My soil number one or underscore one. And now it works. Uh, let's create also another agri soil, which could be my soil underscore two um, the nice thing is that if the instances of the same model type it has the same color so this is a very nice feature um, let's create some a couple of product types here um, let's say this is the while Oat. Let's create a second product type, which could be a spelt. Great. And now let's put the pieces together. This is a very nice feature on, on the um, ADT Explorer. If you see here, the add relationship is gray out in order to activate it. Uh, Let's recap, we define a relationship between parcel and soil. So if you click in a parcel, press shift and then click in the soil. The button at relationship is activated and then you create a relationship from my par parcel to my soil one 
of the type has agri soil. And that's it. And also, in the same way, we can create a relationship between my parcel and my soil too. Same procedure. Save. Perfect. And now, also remember, you can assign a product type to a soil. So this is the next step, is to also create a relationship. Here, between my soil 2 and wild opt as agri-product type, correct? So, same procedure with this build, but with my soil 1, so save it. And as you can see here, even which is pretty, pretty simple, you can see here also if you read this light gray, the name of the relationship, we have our first uh, graph created with this um, digital twin modeling language. Okay, maybe that makes no sense with the uh, f from the functional point of view, but just for demonstration purpose, it at another agri product type here also, and let's name it. Uh, Uh, to make tomatoes and let's say tomato also belong to my soil one so let's add the relationship so we have in this soil two different products and then let's add some category information. So let's say wild oat is the cereal. Spelt is also a cereal. Let's put it's a fruit. And why I did that is just to demonstrate some query capabilities because here you can see you can execute and run some queries. So the first query, of course, returns everything which is available in the digital twin. Seems like I still have some previous stuff that uh, I allowed in this in this instance, and I haven't uh, deleted it. But of course, I also get um, the instances I already created. So since the twin was really not completely empty, it seems like still have some old stuff. And I would like to know also if I can delete it from, from here, from this menu. Is it possible to select, maybe with shift, those entities, let's see. Yes, all of them are selected. What happens if I press here? Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am. And it worked. So now the instances are, are clean. And OK, this is what I expected, actually, when it executes this query. So let's try it with another queries. So for instance, I prepare here one query and say, OK, return all of the twins, which uh, are instances of the agri soil model and then I run the query and so I expect only to have my soil one and my soil two so we can achieve the same query using some of the available functions for that and in this case it's the is of model function so let's run the query again we should uh, get the same result and that's it and now Okay, maybe we can make something interesting here. Well, let's go back to the first digital twin. I think we can reorder that automatically. So here we have an expansion mode, expansion mode. No, here, run layout. 
Uh, let's select another one. <coughs> I don't like also this one. <laughs> I would like to have the first we get. This one is perfect uh, because it represents so the hierarchy that we have. And um, let's see again. So our product type has a category attribute. You know why it's not populated so again serial serial we agreed that tomato is a fruit so okay so we need to click here on save that's the reason where the information was lost, patch information, add category fruit. Great. So we need to do the same for the other two. So category is serial, save. Great. Serial, save. And now let's try something different. So Select T and CT from Digital Twins. And I would like to have the relationship here as the relationship between soil and has agri product type. Where CT, so let's suppose CT is the product type and T represents the soil. Uh, you don't have to write any joining key. This is also a very interesting thing because it's implicit in the graph, the relationship. And then just use the CT.category equal to serial. Let's see what happened. Oh, okay. Okay, that seems to be a limitation that we need to use the ID also in the filter. So let's say where, and let's use T dot, as they propose the digital twin. ID equal and let's do it for my soil one. My soil underscore one and CT category serial. Uh, here we go. We have uh, my soil one and the spelt. And if we write here for it. It also works, and I get the tomatoes. Okay, that's all. I hope you like it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.